What's up guys? I'm Sophie Lightning. I'm so excited. You guys already know by the title, but I'm going to be doing my first impression of the Nerf Dino Squad Tricera Blast today. Full review coming tomorrow so that I can test its range, performance, all of those fun things. But this is just the unboxing and first impressions. First thing I want to point out is that I am thoroughly impressed by some of the details on this packaging. First of all, if you can see the Nerf logo is really cool. It's got this 3D look to it and under it is like dino scales. I just appreciate small details like this. As you guys know, hopefully, there's two other blasters released in this series thus far. I'm reviewing the Tricera Blast first because I'm going to be honest with you, it looked like my favorite out of the three. I thought it looked the coolest. Triceratops, kind of my favorite dinosaur, not going to lie. Um, and when I first saw this, I was hoping it was something similar to a sledge fire. Obviously, it does not come with shells, so it is not. But that's okay. It does appear to be hammer action. This holds three darts. I'm still not sure if it fires all three at once or one at a time. Also, additional storage in that back stock. But yeah, this thing just looks super, super cool. I'm not expecting anything incredibly innovative or unique about it. This is really almost entirely about the uh, outside appearance and the fact that it literally looks like a triceratops, which is, it's pretty cool. We can just all admit. So let's open this up. All right, we're back. Kind of an anticlimactic unboxing because we have the main blaster, the instruction manual, and 12 darts. Let's open this together and see if they are in fact, oh, they are. I appreciate these small details. These are a slightly different color variation than typical elite darts specially made for the Dino Squad series, I would assume. I appreciate little things like that. Let's see how to load this blaster. It is a front loading blaster. This just pops down. There's no lock. I was expecting some type of lock, so that's intriguing to say the least. You load up your three elite darts. This does come with 12 though, because there is additional storage in the back. Load them up. We gotta close it the cool way. Absolutely. Hammer action. One at a time. Okay. All right, so we're definitely getting some power with this. I'm definitely gonna give it credit for that. Uh, not too sure how the accuracy is gonna be when we test that out tomorrow, but it did look overall okay. Obviously, I'll get more in detail tomorrow about that range and accuracy, but right out of the box, it's actually performing pretty well. I'm gonna give it typical elite stats, I would say, um, but we're not really here for the stats. We're here for this overall blaster. I love the additional dark storage in the back. Things like that make me happy. It does hold an additional 12 in the back, so it's kind of funny that it comes with 12 because it can actually hold 15 at a time. It's a funny thing that Nerf sometimes does. It's actually really small and light compared to what I thought it was going to be. Like I said, I was expecting a sledge fire, which is certainly longer and has a little bit more weight to it. That doesn't really matter though, <laughs> um, really to anybody. It actually is a pretty, pretty nice blaster. Like I'm saying, it is a little bit short, so I'm not sure for somebody my size, obviously I'm not the target audience, but for someone my size, it is gonna feel a little bit tight. The ergonomics on this are not fantastic, just because it does, it just feels a little bit too close. I would appreciate if, if we had like a couple, two, two to three more inches on the stock. That being said, you can load it while you're still holding it on your shoulder, which is kind of cool. But I love the detailing on this blaster. We have a really nice texture on the top here. All of that blue has this texturized scales like an actual dinosaur, uh, which is really, really cool. Also down on the grip here. I love this blue and orange. Personally, my two favorite colors are blue and orange, and I really love the shade of blue. I love the white features. I think that the, the, the Triceratops parts here look awesome. I love how they made the spikes over here white versus just keeping them all blue. Uh, that's something that we have seen in the past just to conserve paint and time. Sometimes they might not get super detailed so I appreciate that. Also as you can see here it has like actual white detailing there which is just really really cool. It says Triceroblast on both sides which is also nice. And yeah this is just a really fun cool looking blaster. My favorite aspect is of course that. Uh, it does fire one dart at a time with a hammer action. So at the end of the day, it's essentially a hammer shot, but it doesn't even hold quite as much in a much larger, larger package. It's not going to have the highest scale of practicality tomorrow, but let's be honest, you're probably not buying this to go rock it as a primary in a nerf battle. You're buying it because it looks awesome and you're really excited for this Dino Squad series like I am. 
Just look at it. It's so cool, honestly. Like I said, though, full review coming tomorrow. This is just my immediate uh, impressions. I do like how wide this bandolier attachment point is. You could definitely attach this to a bandolier. I feel like that would be the most efficient way to carry it, so I also appreciate that. But yeah, oh, that's so nice. I love that there's no lock there, but okay. That is something to keep in mind since it doesn't lock. It is possible to to get it to unclick, but it pops back in place. So I, I could not really see that being an issue unless you're like actually trying to slice somebody with this. So obviously don't do that. But I know that people sometimes worry when things don't really lock into place that they're going to open as they're going. And if this did open, you might lose a dart or two. I don't think that it really does anything except for the aesthetic. So even if it did open, I really don't think it would be too big of a deal. But yeah, you're not... Even though it doesn't lock in place, if you're running around with it, it's definitely going to stay shut, which is which is pretty cool. I love the hammer action. The grip is pretty comfortable. Everything is actually pretty comfortable in this blaster, except for the length. But yeah, full review coming tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Dino Squad!